Mission five, virility. Uh, gee, I wonder what we're doing here. Hmm. Let's shop for stuff. We yes, are well, gonna do sex. Let's sex it with the guy in the last hoodie. I think this is the mission where Dante goes to see his doctor about his uh, about his problems in bed. Perhaps. So we're gonna pick up Demon Evade, which is very useful, and pay off. What do they do? Um, payoff is the... Remember the, the thing where I punted people? Payoff is the angel counterpart to that. Hmm. All I was explaining the time got, Oh, okay. And Demon Evade, which I will explain there. And we got one more point. Let's see what else we can get. I want to pick up something with Ebony and I... Eh. Let's pick up Rays. Okay. I have everything. Yeah, I have everything with her belly. I'm gonna try and get everything before I start upgrading things. Let's see. Should we buy something? Health! More health. Always more health. Can't okay, go wrong with more health. We don't have our mana bar yet. And start mission! Virility! It's weird to think that we're this far into the game and there are mechanics that haven't yet been introduced. Probably so long. Oh, they're mm -hmm. bonding! Look, I can see it forming! Fight the power! Point out kind of a funny thing here. That they have that scene of Dante like screaming as he's probing his chest, and contrasted with the scene of Devil May Cry 4 when Dante's just standing there with a sword through his chest. <laughs> it, it is kind of an effective dichotomy between the two games. Devil May Cry 4 was already almost a parody of itself, anyway. Huh. It, uh, let's remove the almost. <laughs> it really was. Literally magic. Is the speaker still on? <laughs> it's weird that they would have guided tours of the factory, if pe bringing people so close to their terrible secret. Well, none of them can actually reach it because it's in another dimension. Uh, Plus, they're all drugged, and literally, I can't do anything here. I can't jump, can't huh. swing my sword because I'm still in the real world. Oh yeah, Dante, that really is a really nice coat. I like it. <laughs> Are you thinking cosplay? This way, I think. <laughs> you said you've been here before. Yes, but it was during an out-of-body experience years ago. I'm flying around in spirit form. Yeah, in limbo. Virgil says it could be an effective intelligence gathering tool, but I can't do it at will. So, how did you do it before? It was triggered by extreme psychosomatic trauma. The nightmares. You and your what nightmares. Nightmares. It's in the past now. Well, that'll get explained at some point, probably. I'm sure it will. Tropes. Tropes, we know them. Don't go to TV we, tropes, we, we see We see basically this entire area in demon form later. Yeah, don't don't go to little... TV tropes, kids. It'll ruin your life. It'll ruin your vocabulary. That too. Why vocabulary? You'll start speaking within names of tropes. Oh, yeah, you're yeah. going to start using Magnificent Bastard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. 
かなっていう。Didn't I just tell you this? You came to limbo to escape your nightmares. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess that's that. Okay, thank you. That'd be really devious if they had, like, green health crosses here. <laughs> yeah. Once you're in limbo, all you have to do is retrace your steps back to the mixing room. Should be easy enough. Maybe. But the demons may sense you once you're in limbo, so stay alert. And once I've reached the mixing room, he sees you! Deep down into the factory. You kill me, a succubus. I'm gonna go. <laughs> That'd be great if the succubus was just Morgan. <laughs> like, straight <laughs> up. What? I'm a Capcom property. <laughs> See, it's Dante would probably re probably recognize her. Okay. See my tramp stamp where it says so. <laughs> I don't see how that that glyph is physically possible considering it's a stencil. All right. See you on the other side. Someone needs to contact Osher about this right now. <laughs> I don't see handrails anywhere. Dante? Down here. What does this look like to her? You're right. It's a lot bigger here. I guess we never find out what it looks like to people in the Head real world. The room. I'll meet you there. PC, stupidity, tranquility. This is a paid advertisement from Dante. <laughs> okay, so multiple paths here. Poison. I do like the idea of multiple paths here. Well, I wouldn't know where to go if I had choices. <laughs> I'd be paralyzed by decisions. Oh look, fights? Fights! What took you so long? I should probably show off these new moves. That's Raze. It allows you to charge up and launch everywhere around you. <laughs> and payoff. I didn't want to kill him. Payoff, the, hard, the timing on payoff is much harder to do than kicker. Goodbye. God damn it. Huh. You have to tap it right before you arrive. Oh, that's the demon evade. You get a damage boost when you demon evade. You have to evade in demon mode at the last possible second. Well, last possible is being generous. It's actually quite a bit of time. Huh. But it is trickier. Quite tricky to do. If you haven't played the game way too much, like I have. Let's see. Uh oh. I wonder what this guy's gimmick is. Hell night. Hey, could you point me to the mixing room? <laughs> His unique power instead of being able to freeze people is to make the floor lava. Oh, However, great. you are immune to this if you are in demon mode, so it doesn't really matter. Or if you have pillows to throw them about the floor. Yes. This is also an effectively proven tactic. Or if you have what? Or, or if you have pillows to throw them about the floor. It makes it want to turn this down, it is pretty loud. I have the remote. I have it right here. Oh. Okay. Resume game. So are you just in demon mode while you're holding the trigger for the uh, armor? Yeah. Bear? Okay. Yeah, there's one other angel weapon and one other demon weapon and two other guns you get. The weapon selection in this is kind of limited compared to other games. Yeah. Well, you do get them all at once. 
they're not as complex as, say, the, the crazy weapon systems of Double May Cry 3. I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, if if it's one trigger for one weapon and one trigger for another, then how are they going to add more weapons after this? Um, you, you get a weapon selection on the D-pad. Um, does, do you get, like, more weapons that turn into other weapons? Well, it's all... it's You're basically just adding modes that Rebellion can turn into. Oh, look, a Tyrant. Oh, okay. It's still Dante still like in the as in previous games absorbs the souls of bosses to get new weapons. Demon evade, so now I can do lots of damage to him. It took much less time because when I was using the axe and two I had the demon evade damage boost. Which is really that's why I said demon evade is infinitely more useful. Because you can do that and just like obliterate high health enemies in an instant. Cool. Not so nice of the obstacles to retract once I have defeated all the other obstacles. Oh, you dicks! Can you get it? Huh. Yay! Yeah. Yeah, I have acquired the secret. There are no other secrets in the game to acquire. <laughs> Darn. Into the bowels. Those barrels have been used by Gordon Freeman. <laughs> he was flinging them at some combines earlier. What the? I have to be close, but not too close. It's like a siege Just like real women. <laughs> Uh, we both had good jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a good what joke. What was your joke? It's like a siege tank. <laughs> oh, look, a door. I wonder what's here. I do like that, unlike other games, you can't just infinitely run into a wall. Yeah. It looks very silly. Can you skate? Demonic conflict. All enemies in time. Enemies only take weapons damage from demon weapons. They, they don't even take damage from each other. It doesn't seem like something you can rely on anyway. I would faith those it's really easy. Since their bombs are massive have massive explosion radiuses. Just stop. Fuck you. I'll just hit nothing with my attack, don't mind me. Probably a lot easier because you can always come back to these. Unless you want to get your other demon weapon. What's the other demon weapon? Um, gauntlets. Ooh. We're actually about to get it in about two missions. Oh. Health cross. I completed one. I was thinking a Devil May Cry and Bayonetta crossover would be neat, but Bayonetta is published by Sega. And also, the people who made Bayonetta will never make another Devil May Cry game or work with Capcom. Wow. Platinum. Platinum is made up of people who left Capcom because they were sick of their shit. Oh. So yeah, yeah, a Devil May Cry worked on by, by Platinum would never happen. Is there anything up here? Oh, I can, I, this is going to go up here, but there, no, there's nothing here. They wanted Capcom to learn how to count past two. It was basically the people who made, like, God Hand and P, um, Project Piano 7. Or P, PN03. Oh, did I shoot it? Ugh, I test your mashing. Consume obesity. Stupid. Consume obesity, man. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, I should follow the red glowing veins or the yellow. Oh, fuck you! Is this a targeting laser or something? Oh no! <laughs> I failed! I thought I could grab onto that. But I have to be on a solid surface to pull it. Mm -hmm. um, this also has multiple paths around here. With all sorts of secrets hidden about the room. 
I don't know, you probably did this when you were first playing this game, but with the two different grappling mechanics, I would probably be confusing them all the time in fights. A little bit. Like, I would, instead of pulling one of them over to me, I would pull myself over the cliff and die. <laughs> I do that. I still do that occasionally like that. I just completely overshot that. You have to learn how to cancel out of the dash so you don't overshoot stuff. You just doubles up over some of those, probably. Probably. Oh, God. I'm lost! Oh, look at it. I lost soul. I wasn't even looking for you. I'm it's your lucky day! Eh, I'm not gonna bother looking for more secrets. I'll just leave. Oh, wait. Secrets. The secrets are finding you. Can't, can't touch this. Demon mode renders Dante immune to the Hell Knights in Ground Inferno. Thanks, but I already figured this out. Ah, yes. This is how they make the game hard on harder difficulties. Well, that's th that's that. Is they uh, just throw a demon and angel enemy at you. There's an enemy later called Rages that are the most annoying enemy, and they're the other people that get to be a uh, demon and angel version. Can you not hurt them with Rebellion either? No. That's one thing about the eventual devil trigger you get that I like. It, it nullifies enemy resistances. Ooh. -hoo. That's one of the things, like, I forget that they have that ability, because when I'm fighting the Hell Knights, I'm always in demon mode. So I forget that that, you know, floor is lava thing even does stuff. That was, oh, over yeah. that was overkill for a spider, but whatever. <laughs> I have seen the secret, I must now acquire it. And just imagine someone really doing that, going after a spider with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! Oh, have you guys seen the, um, oh, yeah, they get a ranged angel weapon, so that's how you have to take out those vines. Hmm. Um, the misunderstood spider, it's like a, pi a picture of what could be described as a cute spider. It's like, yeah, I know you really hate flies, so I got rid of all those flies. I'm just going to hang here and try and dispose of my family. Wait, no, what are you doing with that magazine? <laughs> and other various things. Well, now to find a way through the maze. Uh, this is from the first time that they just give you an awesome fight. They're like, oh yeah, you've acquired all your weapons, let's just throw tons of dudes at you. And these are, in fact, lesser Stygians, so they can't really do shit. Cool. Just kind of there to get beat up, right? Ultimate goon? Yeah. They're scythe fodder. Dude, he's just a goon. Tell that to Mr. and Mrs. Goon. <laughs> Do you think anyone actually has the last name Goon? Maybe. It's probably perhaps perhaps in like Eastern Eastern Europe. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, it's probably shortened or something like that. Yeah. But I would guarantee you, yes, there's probably someone with the last name Goon. Or if, if not, it may perhaps spelled, perhaps sounded that way. Oh look, I have acquired my first triple S ranking. Wow. There's two very easy ways to acquire triple S in this. Just combo the fuck out of tons of dudes, or combo a single person by repeat and repeatedly get the eight, the demon dodge bonus. And that's what you get from and the fire many chains so badly. Can affect each other with their attacks. It can often be used to Dante's advantage, so it's telling me about the ability to freeze their enemies by guiding the uh, the Frost Knight's Frost Blast. Kind of, bother, can, kind of bothersome that they pause the gameplay that, to uh, tell you about stuff you might already know. Yeah, that was payoff I did right there. I could have uppercut the guy, but I was already at the ceiling. Ugh. Well, well, it's not exactly which time, but. Cool. It's, it's a film. Oh, look, you got frozen. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, the combo does get a little stale when you're only allowed to use a third of your arsenal. Yeah. That's one of my main complaints. Fuck you, Tommy. That was just getting angry. <laughs> oh, God, I must mash all the buttons! Oh, God. Yeah, if I had done that any slower, that last one would have come, come after me. Huh. Yeah, that was the first time, because I was fighting all those guys, and I actually, the first time I played this, I managed to go through that fight really well and not get hit. I was feeling like, riding super high on the feeling, it's just, FUCK YOU, DANTE! WELL, FUCK YOU! 
the hell was that sound? It was like a weird energy charge of, oh god, there's acid on the floor. You don't have an acid mode, unfortunately. <laughs> Sadly. That's one of the other things in, in the heaven or hell different. Oh, what? Fuck you. I have to... Infinitely combo this one guy. Yeah, single enemies are absolutely no problem. That's the other thing I hate about rages when you encounter the blade. They can just escape from your combos. Hmm. Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot. That's how important it was. Yeah, I guess. Oh god, it's a maze. I don't know where to go. Oh yeah, and there's the Leviathan level in um. In Devil May Cry 3, where you're like inside the belly of a giant demon whale. Huh. And it's like, it's like every other inside an organism level in a video game. Where like you have to hit like lymph nodes to open doors, which are membranes. Huh. That kind of thing. Like Jabba Jabba's belly in Ocarina of Time. Or like the giant worm! The giant worm! With in four hearts! In Tech Years of War 2, yeah. Yeah, that's here. Jake, Jake, Jake and I, 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 Jake Jake and I did our did the first our both both of our first playthroughs of co-op co co in Gears of War 2 and we both lost it when we got to that part. <laughs> a sinking like, cities with a giant, giant worm. <laughs> it's just the way John DiMaggio delivers that line. Like he's as distressed. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him entirely with flush. That's probably not actually a good idea. Oh come over here. Come here, I got something to tell you. Fuck you! I didn't know that had limited range. That's what I mean, you can use flush to knock people back up. Oh, they spawned, they spawned more dudes. I just want to find out what this secret is back here. I'll probably get a rapture up the butt any second now. Oh, a silver door. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have... Oh, God. Why are you here? <laughs> An appropriate action for the game to take right up the butt, literally, like just instantly happened, and you're like, ah! <laughs> I didn't get any warning. I don't, I don't have any argent keys. Uh. Too bad. Better than lightning clomp, clomp, and clonk 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 in Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah. Uh, I heard for um, she had the iron boots on all the time. <laughs> uh, what was the name of the guy who developed Braid? I don't remember, but the guy who developed Braid. Oh, yeah. Uh, is it gonna bug you? Yeah. Okay, there's a move, really move I really need to acquire, which is Shredder, and that's the follow-up to this. You mean Orokusaki? It's it's. it's it's on the tip of my tongue, yeah. Er. But yeah, that's Shredder. The follow-up to, to prop. Ah, spiders! Oh, I got them all in one swing. Uh -huh. The mixing room. Jonathan Blow. Jonathan Blow. Yeah, oh, he, God. Jonathan Blow's new game, uh, The Witness, apparently they recorded, like, thousands of footstep sounds. So you never hear just the same footsteps over and over again. Oh god. Oh, jeez. What's going on? Uh. <laughs> this is like the slurm factory in Futurama. What in the shitting hell is going on here? <laughs> the mixing process. But it's the source we're interested in. I'm guessing our succubus is on the other end of the back. That's right. This way. Strong independent junk That's who right. don't... Strong independent junk who don't need no lewds. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to... Oh god, oh god, it burns! Oh, the acid? Yeah. That's the gimmick to this area. There's acid, don't touch it. 
That's like my favorite thing about any Metroid game. It's like, nope, lava don't hurt you anymore. <laughs> but you get the gravity suit. But, but acid. Yeah. Acid. Yeah, you, I love, like if you're speed running Super Metroid and you get the gravity suit but not the various suit. Oh, God. Hiding in the acid puddle. Oh, okay. oh, he's making the floor lava. He's making the floor super unsafe. The lava is covering up the acid, so you can't see it. Yeah, in one of the um, in one of the bloody palace missions, the it's a floor is bugged like that. Oh, I got some life back. Where it spawns some. Oh wow, bye. <laughs> so it's there's like a gimmick like the acid, but it's the floor is lava or the floor is. Is ice, I guess. Oh, I... Limbo. Pop culture! <laughs> We're intelligent. Ah, God! He flattened me. Without the ability to depower them, to de enrage them, this is gonna be a really difficult fight. How come we can't de enrage them? Because I don't have the weapon that allows me to do that. They can still hit a wall, that happens. But you get a weapon that allows you to do that later. It's like a, it's basically an explosive charge gun that you implant charges in their back and detonate them all at once and they can become, they de enrage. <laughs> now Dante starts with the witty criticisms. Aren't there three of them? No, there are only two of them. Oh. Here comes... <laughs> just... <sighs> I don't think there's any secrets over here. You okay? That looked pretty nasty. That... That was just a big fat joke. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid! Uh, <laughs> and Dante knows it's stupid. <laughs> Puns! It's fucking irritating. Gurgle. <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. Oh, okay. That was gross. <laughs> that was really gross. But well, I you did a good job, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, well, I missed quite a few lost souls. <laughs> super, super, super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Okay. okay, next time on this. Who knows? I do. Tune in. Call now.